Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun little project for you today. It's a triangle pull apart box. You just slide off that belly band and then you pull the box apart like this. And you have these two sides that pull out and inside you have whatever you want, candy. I made mine with the 4th of July in mind, um, but, but really you could do anything you want um, any holiday, any occasion, any colors. Um, I have done real red and night of navy, and today we're going to make another real red one. Uh, the stamp and dies that I'm using are called the right triangle. I have really enjoyed these new triangle, stitched triangle dies. I don't think I've ever used triangles in my paper crafting before, and I really have had a lot of fun incorporating these. So we're going to use this big image right here and this die right here. All right, let's get started. We're going to make the box first. And you're going to need <clears throat> two pieces of real red that measure seven and a half by four and a fourth. Now, these measurements are over on my blog, so click on the link here on YouTube and follow it over to my blog. It's my Facebook Friday post that has two other uh, triangle projects. Underneath the last photo, you'll find the PDF with the measurements, all the products, everything that you need. All right, so seven and a half by four and a fourth. The short side, we're gonna score at one inch, and the long side, we're gonna score at three and a fourth and four and a fourth. And we're gonna do that to the other one. These are gonna be the triangle box parts. Three and a fourth and four and a fourth. Now, you're also gonna need a piece that is seven by seven, and you're gonna score it at one inch and two inch on all four sides. One and two. One and two, one, two. All right, we don't need that anymore. I'm simply scored. Let's do the triangle parts first. You want to burnish your lines really well. And then you're gonna take your scissors and we're gonna snip these two lines right here. And I'm going to just trim just slightly the corners of both the inside tab and the outside tab, or the side really. All right, now let's do the other one. There is it right here. And then we're going to bring over the paper trimmer and we're going to slice off those uh, sides at an angle from corner to corner. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. All right. Now, with your paper trimmer, you're going to cut from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. So I'm gonna line that up here. I'm gonna put the top left corner in the ditch and the bottom right corner there in the ditch above that score line, okay? And I'm just gonna cut that off just like that. Flip it over. We're gonna do the exact same thing here like that. Looks like a little paper airplane, doesn't it? All right, now we're going to do the other one. And trim. Now I designed this box to fit that triangle exactly. I worked on it and tweaked it because I want that triangle. We're going to stamp that triangle in a minute and stitch it. I mean, that die cut it and you'll see that it's stitched on the edges. We're not stitching it, <laughs> um, but you'll see that it is stitched on the edges um, and it's really cute. All right, I'm gonna put some adhesive there on that side and a little bit here. I'm using our new stamp and seal. I'm gonna push that in right behind there and then I'm gonna push that one in right behind there. And there's our box. See how that is just a pull apart little, little shell. All right, little stamp and seal plus. And I'm gonna put that one behind there and tuck that one in, whoops, right there. All right, so there you have it. Now, these are gonna pull apart in just a minute like that, but we've gotta make that little tray that goes on the inside. So that's this piece. And again, with your bone folder, you want to burnish all those lines. I think that these are fun 4th of July party favors. I bought those red, white, and blue M&Ms without knowing what I was going to do with them, but I just knew they were so cute. 
and I came home and I decided to make this box. All right, now we're gonna cut out the tabs on this, all the L-shaped tabs in all three corners, okay? And we're also gonna cut this score line right here. We're gonna leave that that square there, these, these squares, but we're gonna cut that score line there and there, and then over here, down and down, okay? So you have to kind of concentrate so you know what you're doing or you'll cut off the wrong tabs. Ask me how I know. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna cut all the way up and then we cut over right here. Then we're gonna cut this one off, okay? And then same thing on this side, cut up and over and then cut this one and that one and up and over and one more right here. Now, we want to cut the corners off of these outside tabs. In a little while, we're gonna fold these in and we want them to not be, depending on which side of the score line you cut on, it could be a little bit too long and then kind of make things not line up right. So just cutting off the corners will help with that. Now I'm gonna lay it down in case you wanna pause the video to see exactly how yours should look. I like to do that when I'm watching a tutorial. All right, there you go. Now, we're gonna put adhesive on the outside four corners. All right. Then we're gonna flip it over, carefully leaving those up so they don't stick to your table, and put Stampin' Seal Plus on those four sides. Now I'm gonna fold in these sides, these little square tabs, right here, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna fold these in. These give your box a rounded edge on the top and it just looks really really nice all right so then this just slides in your box like that now if you want you could adhere part of like this side in this one to leave leave it so that it's connected and then you just pull this off but I just left mine like that I thought that was kind of fun to have them both be able to pull apart like that all right, so you put your candy in. Now let's get to the stamping. I have my triangle stamp here on my Stamparatus. Um, I found that because it's a large stamp, it was easier to stamp with a Stamparatus. And I'm gonna stamp it here on my grid paper. So I know exactly where to put my other paper. All right, so if I put this, this is just a scrap of real red, I wanna make sure I get it on there. And then I will re-ink that. Whoops, we need to scoop that in just a little bit. Let's see, a little bit more. <laughs> It'll fit, I promise. All right, now, make sure you push down. And if it doesn't, if you have any holes, nope, that one looks good. If you have any holes, you can just lay it back down and press again where you, where you missed. That's the beauty of using the Stamparatus with large stamps because it's hard sometimes to get the full image to stamp. All right, there we go. And beautiful. Okay, so we'll close that, move that away, and bring over the die cut machine. Um, these triangle dies, not only is a triangle, I think, a unique shape to use, but they're stitched. And I love anything, any die that's stitched makes me very, very happy. So it gives it just a little more um, interest, not just a triangle, but a stitched triangle. So of course these guys, you could use them without even stamping and they would be super cute because of the stitching. All right, now my, um, my little puppy is in here right now and she's wanting to chew on some of my paper. <laughs> Doesn't she know Mama's filming a video? No, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's in the chewing stage. Okay, now I'm gonna just use some Tombow on here 
and I'm gonna lay that right there. This triangle is a hair's width bigger than the box. I wanted it to just be, just I mean, just a hair's width larger, okay? So you'll notice that, and that will kind of help you if your box is like mine, has just a little bit of a, a gap in it. You can push these so that they will form that perfect square like that. All right, last but not least, I have got a, look, another stitched die, this, the stars, and another stitched die. Um, and actually on this one, I used the Tasteful Labels stitched banner, but when I was prepping for this video, for some reason, I couldn't find it. <laughs> so this um, Stitch So Sweetly scalloped rectangle, the smallest one, will work perfectly as well. That is um, Night of Navy. Oh, the stamp, let me tell you what it's from. The Mini Mate stamp set, and I use that Celebrate. So you look, you could use any, thanks, congrats, whoops. Um, I mean, happy birthday, whatever. You could change this up for whatever occasion that you would like. All right, then I'm gonna take, um, let's see, I don't have my take your pick tool, unfortunately, right here. So we'll just use the tip of our scissors to add a few of these red rhinestones, okay? All right, now, this, for the navy box, I used our, um, the little pets combo, ribbon combo pack. They're so cute, playful pets. Um, I love that ribbon. But for this one, oh, I don't even know if I brought that ribbon. Well, anyways, this ribbon right here is the um, Knight of Navy from Playing With Patterns. So we'll go ahead and use the red since I have the red here. And what I did is tie this on. And then I'm gonna actually, I want the bow to be kind of big because I'm actually going to glue that star to the center of my bow. All right, and one thing I did is I took just a little scrap of cardstock and I put it right back behind there just so that I don't get any glue on my box, okay? And if that little square glues to the star, that's okay too. Did I not cut that off? I sure didn't. All right, let's push that on there. Um, we'll cut that off. And then while you're waiting for it to dry, set your block on there and that will push that down into the glue. But for now, we're done. What do you guys think? A really fun box. Really fun table favor, don't you think? If you're having a party, um, these would make great party favors for any party. You could change the sentiment, change the shape, change the colors, and you've got a really unique party favor. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Make sure you um, click on that link down here at the bottom. Go over and grab that PDF and check out my other uh, right triangle projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.